It was very different testimony from the defendant in a love triangle murder trial than the others who testified against her. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. 60-year-old Lisa Dykes is on trial for the stabbing murder of Maricela Botello, and Dykes took the witness stand this afternoon. Prosecutors say Dykes killed Botello in a jealous rage in October 2020 because she found Botello in bed with her boyfriend. Fox News David Centenary is in with Dykes' version of what happened. David. Yeah, today was day six of the trial, and Lisa Dykes' testimony pretty much contradicts just about everything we've heard so far from the prosecution's witnesses. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Lisa Dykes is testifying about Charles Beltran. Prosecutors say Dykes, her wife Nina Morano, and Beltran were living together in Mesquite in a three-way relationship. Dykes is on trial for the 2020 murder of Maricela Bateo. On Friday, Beltran testified that Dykes stabbed Bateo to death in a jealous rage because she found Bateo in bed with him. Beltran and Bateo met in Deep Ellum that night. Did you go into the moment stab also? No. Did you struggle with Morissette? No, absolutely not. No. Did you argue with Chuck about Morissette? No. Had you ever met Morissette? No. Dykes claims she was not in a romantic relationship with Beltran, only financing his rap music ambitions. Chuck was and continued to always be a business interest that went sideways. Dykes' testimony contradicts testimony from several people close to her and Beltran, who all say Dykes was open about being Beltran's sugar mama. Prosecutors point that out during cross-examination. Everybody knew that you were in a relationship with Chuck, right? They talked about that. They said that, yes. Crime scene investigators are unable to prove how and when Bateo was killed because it took six months to discover her remains. However, Bateo's blood was found in Dykes' home, according to a forensics expert. Prosecutors say the day Bateo disappeared, GPS cell phone data places Dykes near where Bateo's remains were eventually discovered in Hutchins. Dykes testifies she was in that area with her wife to visit a FedEx distribution center. How far would you say that that's from your house? I think it's probably a 20, 25 minute drive. Dykes, Morano, and Beltran were on the run prior to remains being discovered. After their arrest, Dykes and Morano bonded out and fled to Cambodia because they felt persecuted, according to Dykes. Cambodia was a good place for asylum. Cambodia was a good place for us to find a new life, for us to live. In 2022, the FBI captured Dykes and Morano. Last week, murder charges against Morano and Beltran were dismissed, leaving Dykes as the focus of the murder. I was 57 years old when this incident happened. I did nothing but work and raise children all my life. I've never been arrested. I had no criminal records. Dykes' testimony is not over. There's still more cross-examination to be done when the trial resumes tomorrow morning.